today I would like to share with you something new and excited. Google Jam. Hey guys, my name is Lat and this is my new video. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am really happy to see all of you again today. Google Jams allow you to create, customize AI assistant that can help you with the specific tasks. It could be your personal trainer, it could be your English tutor, and so on. Basically, it's similar to custom GPT from OpenAI, but made by Google. And right now, it's available in Gemini. If you want to know how to use it and all new features, then watch this video till the end. If you are ready, then let's get started. Google Gems are available inside Gemini. In order to use it, you have to go to gemini.google.com website and register there if you haven't yet. Then you have to upgrade to Gemini Advance. The good things, you have free one month as a trial, so you can try it without losing any money. To get started with your free trial, you need to click Start Trial button, then select the right payment option and click Continue. If everything is OK, then you will be redirected to this page, Google One AI Premium Subscribe. So your trial will be started from this day. Welcome to Gemini Advanced. On this page, you will be able to see all the functionality of Gemini. At the top navigation, you will be able to change Advanced Gemini to the normal one. But if you want to use Google Gems, you have to use Advanced version. To start using Gems, you basically go to the left sidebar and you will see this button, Gems Manager. This is the section of the website where you will be able to see all your gems. There are some gems provided by Google, you can try them. And if you want to create new one, just click New Gem. You can create as many gems as you want. So basically you can create different AI chatbots for different tasks. And the most important thing, they can follow custom instructions. Google provides simple guide. So I will share the link to this guide under the description. If you want, you can follow it, but everything is very simple. I will cover almost everything in this video. Okay, let's try create our new gem. I click new gem button. Then you need to give the name of your gem. Let's try, I'll create YouTube creator. Then in this section, we need to provide custom instruction. Google has some kind of guideline how you can create good instructions. Basically, you need to define persona, task, context, and format. Google also shows some example for your reference. I will also give the link to this example under the description for this video if you need it. However, I have some shortcut for you that can help you simplify this process. What we can do here, we can provide our simple instruction first. And after that, we can click at this small pencil right here. As you can see, this pencil, it will use Gemini to rewrite these instructions. From this simple instruction, Google will create another one, really complex one, by using its best practice. As you could see, right now instruction is really big. It contains personas, context, tasks, and format. Perfect. If you want, you can modify these instructions the way you like. And also you can evaluate the instructions right here. At the right hand side, in the preview section, you can write your prompt and see the If result. you save, you can but write if you your with your right hand instructions, you can just click save button. After that, Google will save your uh, gems and you can start the chat with your custom gem. Yeah, let's try. This is my YouTube creator custom gem. I will write my first prompt and let's see the result. Video about iPhone 15. Let's see what result it will give for me. So first of all, it's kind of ask me follow up questions because my query wasn't that perfect yet. So let me give more context. Yeah a review video. So let's see the result. Okay, so right now it's asking me additional questions to provide the best description. So let's write iPhone 15 review. And here we go. This is my 
uh, YouTube descriptions. As you could see, it provides me three different options that I can select from. And then it also gives me some kind of summary about it. You also could rate the response. And another thing, you can adjust the response. You can make it shorter, longer, simpler, or more casual. So let's try the shorter version. And let's see at the result. As you could see, this is a shorter version, really fast, just one click of the settings and voila, it's there. Another cool stuff, you can evaluate your response. For example, if your request was about some specific date, you can use Google to evaluate the response to make sure that the response from Gemini is correct. You also can add different files and images if you need to provide some extra details to all your gems. Uh, Google understands everything. As you could see, you can upload image, you can upload files, or even some document from your Google Drive. So it's really cool. All your gems will be available at the left sidebar, and this section's gems. So they will be here, so you can remove them, delete them, pin them, and so on. If you want to share the prompts and response, you can do that as well. Just click Share button. This and then select the right options, this prompt and response or entire chat with the latest full gems instructions. Another cool thing that available in Gemini is uh, extensions. You could provide the access to your Google Workspace, access to YouTube, Google Maps, Music, and so on. For example, if you provide the access to your workspace, Gemini will be able to access all your documents inside the workplace, and then you can create custom gems based on those documents. You can create Gmail Assistant, or you can create a meeting summary assistant, and so on. So really, really powerful features. Unfortunately, right now, you don't have the ability to generate an images inside your custom gems, but you can do it directly inside Gemini Advance. So if you want to create uh, image from your text, you just click new chat on the top left corner and then write your prompt. It's not always perfect, but you definitely can use these tools to generate some images. If you want to know more details about what's new in Gemini, I'll share with you this link. It's a Google blog uh, that share with you the latest updates. That's it. As you can see, it's really cool. Right now you have ability to give to Google your data and it can help you to give the answer on your Gmail, it can summarize your uh, Google Docs and Excel files and much, much more. It's really powerful. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, please share your feedback and comments below. You can click like as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, share this video with other people who could be interested in it. And I hope to see you in my next cool videos. Bye.